Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a post hoc a done test uh, after a Cochrane's Q test. In the previous video I showed you all this, how to actually create a Cochrane's Q test and I'm going to be focusing on the post hoc using a done test. Now uh, we first need some data, so control enter to load this and of course I'll be using R, specifically R Studio. Now this data has 150 observations uh, respondents, um, the Munt, Movies, Tuschinski and Arena are four cinemas in Amsterdam and this fake data uh, shows uh, a 1 if someone did visit that cinema and a 0 if he or she didn't. Now we would like to know which ones of these have been visited more often. To do that we can use that done test after the Cochrane's Q test has been shown to be significant and I need to convert uh, the specific variables into a list so the Munt, Movies, Tuschinski and Arena. Control enter to load that and now I have under my list the four variables. Now you can use either the package done test for this uh, library. I already installed it so I'm not going to be running this command but I will be using uh, this one to load it in and then actually perform the test by doing done.test and then the list. Um, as an adjustment I'll be using the Bonferroni adjustment I want to see the results as a list and not as a table. So control enter, that should show you the results. Note that these are one-sided, so if you want to see the two-sided, you will have to multiply these by two. Then uh, you can also use the desk tools um, uh, package, install it again, and then use the library, and then use the done test without the dot, but the capital D and a capital T my list again and again using the Bonferroni and you will notice that once I run that one these results are twice as high so here we had 1 versus 2 which uh, let's use a slightly different one 1 versus 3 which was 0 0.0565 and here 1 versus 3 0 0.11302 which is indeed double you can also use the PMCMR package if you uh, like. So again, you need to install the package first. I already have it installed. Then load the package and then use post hoc dot cross call dot done dot test and then my list and again p dot adjust dot method. In this case, Bonferroni should get you the same results again. And one versus three is again 0.11302. Now there's another way of doing this by using the FSA package. Uh, again, install the package, then load the package. And then you have to transfer the data into a long version, uh, which you can do by using reshape, uh, the original data, varying variables, uh, the names for that, uh, a time variable, uh, a times uh, uh, factor, and uh, new row names, just one to a thousand and direction is long. Uh, what will this will do is actually I can show you once I run the command I can go for my data long and you can see that now for each respondent if I sort it by respondent there are four variables the cinema has a separate variable and then how he or she scored on that specific cinema so respondent number one didn't go to any cinemas they call this a long version and you can then use that to use the done test with a capital D uh, T, no capital D, then my data, uh, the score, the long version of course, versus cinema, and as method of course, Bonferroni. Oops, should adjust that. Control enter, and then you actually get the adjusted versions again, uh, and also the unadjusted, so that is kind of nice. And we should be seeing that 0 0.11301 again up here. Uh, what I like about this method is that it will actually show you specifically which movies um, it was. Now, this is all using a cross call Wallace test actually, and then the postdoc done test. Now, when I did all of this in SPSS, it gave me a different uh, result, and I haven't found a way to actually get the same result uh, in R uh, by using any kind of package. So. I created this uh, little instructions myself. So uh, I need a table with the four uh, variables in this case, or five, how many you might have. Then K is going to be um, how many uh, 
variables are actually involved in this case that should be 4 as you can see here in the global environment and f is going to be the length of any of the variables so in this case I have 150 people uh, and I'll be using a few uh, factors that I'll be actually filling up later pair, test statistic, the standardized test statistic, the significance and the adjusted significance I'll also be using um, some the sum of um, the table so the sum of my table and actually the squared result of that so I'm going to be uh, doing the row sum so R is the row sum in itself actually um, let's see if we can see that somewhere R is 244 and so that's the regular sum of uh, the, the values and R2 is the sum of the row sums um, and then actually squared so uh, if somebody only visited one cinema the row sum would be one and then squared is one so that's this one and then the standard error is going to be the square root of two times the k times that r minus the r square uh, r2 in this case actually uh, divided over k times k minus one times nf squared and then we have our standard error and then we can actually finally uh, run the for command probably there is a way to doing this with some form of apply let me know in the comments below if you have an alternative way um, this is just going making sure that we go over each pair uh, then the pair the name of the column so that we know which pair was actually being done the test statistic uh, is going to be filled in which is the sum of uh, the specific column uh, minus uh, the sum of that column uh, over the other column over nf so uh, it's the number of successes in one versus the number of successes in the other the difference between the two uh, divided by the total NF and the standardized test statistic which is the test statistic uh, divided by the standard error and the significance is then a Z uh, test basically that's being conducted and the adjusted significance using Bonferroni adjustment is uh, the original significant multiplied by k times k minus 1 over 2 I'm going to be rounding it to 4 digits you can leave this out if you don't want to do any rounding so let's uh, run all of this it shouldn't take too long though and the result I want to see as a data frame the pair, the test statistics, the standardized test statistic, the significance and the adjusted significance and then finally we can get to the results and here we have um, the same table in SPSS uh, as SPSS and as you can see these results are different than the ones actually in uh, using the Kruskal Wallace done test postdoc so I'm not sure what SPSS is doing and which one is actually correct so if you do know let me know in the comments below I'm very curious to this note that this 3.78 is above 1 so and of course an adjusted significance a significance can never be above one so you should actually be one so if you like you can adjust the for statement uh, up here with uh, something with an if uh, if it's bigger than one then uh, show one but okay um, as opposed to a postdoc done test you can also do a postdoc McNemer test but I'll be explaining that in another video thank you for watching